Robert Mugabe is at, uh, uh, currently addressing the media. Let's listen in. Were raised against them and they were actually arrested. Arrested. Why? Why arrest, harass relatives, even far off? So you see, when this system ceases to be that of freedom, that democratic, and becomes unconstitutional. <coughs> Those things happen. Illegal things happen. Decisions are taken on the basis of who is my friend. Who is my relative as against who is not my relative, my friend and who is not my relative? Even after all this has happened in the party, you You heard individuals being dismissed from the party, having to run away, some having to seek, you know, across the border, protection, as temporary refugees. And this is what we have just now. We have people who are still outside, let alone the likes of Professor Jonathan Moyo, Patrick Joao, Kasukwere, who were said to be the leaders of the G40. They are not alone. And you have uh, people like Chombo, who was the secretary for administration of ZANU PF. He was the first to be arrested. Crime, to this day, I don't know what crime or crimes he said to people. So he has been harassed, sent to prison, out. And if he was to tell you how he was treated upon being arrested, thrown out headlong through the window, thrust in through the window like that. Okay. You would be shocked that what have we become in the country? Have we become savages, terrorists to ourselves? Anyway. Those tanks that rolled through, across through the country, whom were they fighting? Who was the enemy? We were the enemy of ourselves, fighting ourselves.
a Zimbabwe which had right up to independence yes fought for the people as now turned through the army against the very people whose interests they fought for. I said no. I still say no. This was wrong. This is the greatest damage we have done to our history. The greatest injustice we had done to ourselves. We had become a democratic country after our independence. We went to the assistance of others who were in trouble. Mozambique, we were assisted Namibia. We were in the DRC, etc. Is this now the Zimbabwe which has become so undemocratic? So and illegal in its actions and unconstitutional. I am talking on the eve on the eve of the day I longed for that let the people go and vote let them go and vote freely and I'm glad even ED has said People will be allowed to, to go to vote freely. And the result will be recognized. Fine. We appreciate that. So all who have put their names of candidates for the first time we have had, we, 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 we have had now a, and long list of aspirants to power. Twenty-three is the number of candidates. Mm. And the people say, ah, what is your choice? But no one has ever said, what is not your choice? <laughs> I must say very clearly, I cannot vote for those who have tormented me. No, I can't. I'll make my choice among the other 22.
but uh, it is a long list. I worked with my Juru. I worked with my Juru. I worked with uh, also the my coupe. The uh, other names I am reading for the first time. Uh, there is Chamisa. I have not worked with him. I have seen him work with uh, his late leader. Uh, Changirai, I, whom I worked with in, the, in our government of national unity, but I, I have not met him yet. He seems to be doing well as... He seems to be doing well going by his rallies. Whoever wins, and if he does, well, we wish him well. But I hope the choice or the voting of which will be done tomorrow, and this is what I regard as the greatest event that should happen will reform will throw thrust away military a military form of government and bring us back to constitutionality we must have a democratic constitution we must have a democratic constitution that is what we fought for. The people, we always say, the people, the people, the people. The people's needs, the people's voices, the people's conditions, the people's freedom first. <coughs> And foremost, these are the things that we always cried for when we were waging our struggle for the freedom of Zimbabwe and we had that freedom and we had that, those tenets after 1980 the people's freedom to speak organize themselves as they liked to belong to any party of their own choice 
to go about freely in their country. To feel free that they can visit each other, families, can unite with other families, forming self-help organizations. But they are now, at present, the people are terribly frightened terribly frightened, I must tell you, because they send us messages daily. Uh, we can't come to see you. Others say, how can we come and see you? We are afraid. How how can we have a country like that? And this is being done by people. Well, we worked with, in the struggle, emphasizing that we wanted our country to be democratic. Yes, we are using the guns now to fight for their freedom. And even as we do so, we are saying to them, our guns are directed by our politics. Politics directs the gun. But now it's the gun directing politics. No. No. I say no, no, no. Let tomorrow decide that sure there should be a big no to guns directing politics. Let tomorrow be the voice of the people saying this and never again. We shall never again experience a period where the army is used to thrust one person to on <coughs> into power. No. And a number of people die. I don't know the numbers now, but a number of them have died. We shall investigate, perhaps, after the election tomorrow. So the election tomorrow, I ask, is it to bring democracy, to bring constitutionality, to bring freedom, or shall we see the return? A return of the same rule we have experienced since November. I say we advanced
Congratulations to whosoever, whichsoever party wins the day. And let us accept that verdict. Let us all pray that tomorrow brings us good news. <laughs> yes. And uh, I believe good news to you, everyone is and that we get our freedom back, that we get our democracy back with its uh, legality, with its uh, constitutionality, and thrust away the hypocrisy. So we can say, ah, uh, what happened that November is now history. And uh, our women are not example. <laughs> they will ululate. I'm sure you will also be happy to interact with uh, us, with everybody, with me. I was not able to do so. You see, you if you are put in a place, in a high place, where you are a leader, you are the president of a country, you have the rules that must guide you. You don't get the rules from those who are ambitious, who come and, and sit next to you and say, uh, do this, so-and-so is, 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 is no good, so-and-so is a hypocrite. He wants to undo your power. No. You must obey the rules. I say so. After I had resigned, I had to go to the pension office to those who managed it to say, ah, what am I entitled to? I uh, then said, okay, we will tell you what your entitlements are. Financially, the amount is the total amount, Grace? $467,000. Again? $467,000. $460,000. Yes, 
$460,000. That was the total amount. Uh, but people talked about $10 million. Oh, I would have been... <laughs> In, in American, American dollars, not, not the US dollars. It's the US dollars. 460,000, right? And then you're entitled to two houses, one here, one elsewhere. Uh, at a resort those in power just went mum they refused to give me money for the two houses <laughs> they just refused but the rules said I am entitled to a new house. This one in which we are, or next, <laughs> next to which we are, <coughs> we built from wages slowly, and it was a Nego, uh, <coughs> a Yugoslav company we went into an agreement with, and uh, we agreed with them, we told them, oh, we, we don't have money, you know, to pay you fully, but please do it. We will each month pay your, your workers, and that's all we are able to do. So. Slowly, year by year, we managed to, to have it constructed. And, and, and that's how we finished it. We, we wanted it to be Chinese style, in tribute to China, because it, China helped us uh, a lot during our struggle with, with arms uh, and other forms of uh, assistance, training, etc. So, as a remembrance of that assistance. But uh, the Yugoslavs who did the, the roofing, did it the normal way, with trusses, no, it is not how the Chinese built their houses. That was not correct. And now the roof is beginning to sag. And they say in two years, take care. There will be first giving in of the trusses, so get out of it and get the Chinese to come and redo it, the roof that is. So we, we, we said, well, we, we need the money. Uh, but we, we see that 4,000 something, we can't do it. But they give us money in the, to move out Bef before the calamity occurs, so we can build the, the, other, the houses, the house that we are given. But under the rules, no. Ah, and they won't. They won't. They won't tell you that. Oh, they don't have the money, or they don't 
want to give you just outrightly like that. It's mum. Yeah, but here and there I must concede that they have helped, they have helped us to just chart flights to Singapore, <coughs> where our doctors check, check us regularly. We, so so uh, we've thanked them for, for that. So there it is. I think you, ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, also wish us it's not good luck, but uh, the tomorrow that is coming, you wish and pray with us, I hope, that all goes well. But for today, I don't know what you want me to say to you. And I want to thank you for having come. And you've come on a day which is much better than the previous days that and kept me in and and you would have seen me I don't know what I did not wear it was so cold But uh, I'm happy it's a better day for us today. I hope it will be still a better day tomorrow. A better day for all of us. So, uh, and we will say God bless and say our prayers Sunday today the day of the Lord. I'm sure the good Lord will help us to bring about a better day for Zimbabwe tomorrow. Our, our neighbors have been I fooled, fooled into believing that that uh, all is well. Uh, no, it was not a coup d'etat. Uh, nonsense. It was a thorough coup d'etat. You don't. roll down the tanks, bring on up your army and units and de deploy them. If not a coup d'etat, why do you do that? Who is attacking you? Nobody. Nobody's attacking you. You're attacking yourselves. Your oh, oh, demonstrating to the people that you have taken power. That is all. So I want to thank you for having come and I'm sure you want to ask questions, it's, it's not... Okay. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> a 
is <laughs> I am not the one <laughs> who is uh, in charge uh, in charge of you uh, but I won't uh, I won't be undemocratic and say no what I've said is enough go no I, I will say you have heard what I've said I must hear what you say <laughs> fair all right ladies and gentlemen I will take a few questions I'll start with Nomo Savaseko from BBC yes BBC Mr. Mulabe, my name is Nomo Sama Sego from BBC. Um, sir, is there any truth that you have had discussions with the MDCs, Nelson Chamisa, and that you are funding his campaign? And if so, why is that? Uh, I have not met this man, Nelson Chamisa. I met his... He is uh, a late a leader. Tangirai, yes, we worked together during that time when we had a government of national unity. Uh, but him and any other persons uh, in, in his alliance, I have not met, definitely no. So, I have not. I have not. I have not met. I. I will. Wish. I wish to meet him, if he wins. <laughs> and what about? Um, oh, no. Can 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 we can we go to others? Can we go to others? Let's let's just have one question. Uh, Sophie, Mukwela from SABC. I just want to find out, former president, uh, you indicated that uh, the current administration used the army to get the power. But uh, some detractors are saying uh, the same happened during your era. And finally, who are you going to vote for? Are you going to vote for a woman candidate? It happened during my age, during the, our era. Did we use the army? Speaker. We didn't. Oh, did, did I hear you? I, I, I comprehend you pr properly. Can, can you repeat it? I was saying, uh, those who are criticizing you, former president, are saying for you to be in power during your time, the army was used to ensure that uh, you continue to be in power. And then the last question was that, are you going to vote for a woman candidate? It was not the army that ensured I remained in power. You are wrong on that one. We had e elections every five years. Every five years. And... Uh, I was defeated at one time, so, but uh, Chiang Rai did not have enough votes. He did not have enough votes to get an outright win. We had a government of national unity, yes. Uh, The, this latter part is. Are you going to vote for? Uh, Sophie, Sophie. Uh, no, no. I, I should answer the latter part. I did. Let him finish answering. He says he wants to answer the latter part. Yes. Let's let's maintain it here. The latter part, which is. She said, "Are you going to vote for a woman candidate?" Where? You mean when I go and vote now? You mean just now? There, there, there are two women, isn't it, uh, who are candidates. It's, it's uh, therefore, 
Oh, I, I, I know just two, my Juru and uh, my Kupe. You mean, of, of the, am I going to vote for one of those? <laughs> uh, well, have they any chance? <laughs> I've not seen their, their any rallies by them. You know, my my Juru was uh, with me. And uh, she showed some ambition. And the, then the people, the people <coughs> thought, thought, no, she, I suppose she was no longer suitable, but it was, <coughs> it was our processes the political processes in the in Zanu PF that got rid of her. Uh, but I I wouldn't I wouldn't vote for either because, <laughs> because they don't seem to have any any support from the people. Mr. Mugabe, sir. Ah, no. No, 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 you, do, you, don't, you don't give I'm yourself sorry, a chance. No, no, no. Let, I'm the one who is speaking. No. no. The, uh, the guy from Dungeons. Dungeons Neyes, yes. Can you tell us more about your life since, resign since resigning and your concerns about the family? What did you say? I did you can, can you rephrase it? Describe your life after resigning. What is your daily life here and what are your concerns for your family for the future? Mm -hmm. our, our concerns for the family. That we be left free. That uh, what was given us by, by way of uh, our benefits be honored and that's not being honored we should be free uh, as a family and i don't accept the denunciations and vilifications that's going on of my wife every day in in the paper for nothing i don't know why Perhaps through her, they think, by attacking her, and they are attacking me. That's what I, 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 I think. I think those who write in the Herald, especially. Uh -huh. Leave, leave, leave my wife alone. I want grace to remain my grace. Mm -hmm. Okay, John. Uh, Mr. Madabi. One question. Yes, it is one question. Uh, Mr. Madabi, in the past under your leadership, many, many Zimbabweans have died in political violence. The country is isolated. The economy is in ruins. Whoever wins tomorrow, isn't there at least a chance for a fresh and a better start for this nation? Mm. So you think my, my, during my period, things went to ruin. Don't forget we were fighting against British colonial 
rule. And they had settlers here. We had to remove settlers. We did so after a meeting in 1979. It was a Thatcher government, a conservative government in Britain, a meeting at Lancaster House. It was agreed. We agreed with Madame Thatcher, with her government, that there should be a reform, land reform, in the country. Yes, let the people get the land back. Joshua and Coleman, I insisted we had to get land. And the British agreed. But uh, we just differed on the size of, on the issue of compensation, whether they would give enough compensation. So we started. We had to get the land. But the settlers here did not want the land they thought they had, you know, had for years to be taken. So that was the beginning. But we started quite well. We had lots of, of uh, programs, education for all, and there it was. And we assisted people in developing their land. They, we gave them land, yes, but uh, the resources with which to develop the land in some cases fell short and 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 we certainly did our best i don't see where we have heard if you can point out that you heard here and there uh, we didn't send away <coughs> the whites. We took away the land. Naturally, they had to go away. They thought they had to go away somewhere. But that had, <coughs> had been agreed to at Lancaster House. And the Americans also had supported this. It was the Carter administration supported such a hmm? yes. Isha Everson, we also need to take our local journalists. During your reign, you mentioned that fifteen thousand people were diamond raping. Now we planned was it a figure from the blue? Yes. Can you possibly suggest to be able to plan? Can I? I said, can, could you please suggest who could have been behind the plan of the 15 billion? I uh, know I was, uh, I was, yes, I was remarking about the, the diamond companies. We got nothing from them. And, uh, and so I, I, I got that figure. I, when, when we said, we should now do uh, to uh, diamond mining what what <coughs> what was done in South Africa and was done in uh, Botswana to have one company. These companies. Uh, and they were basically all, or two of them were Chinese, one was Lebanese. They refused. 
So I said, well, they are refusing, but they, 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 don't, they don't show us what they have done, where, <coughs> how much they have got from what they have been, what they have mined so far. So I, I, I just got that figure from the blue. But uh, certainly, we deserved better treatment. We didn't. Okay, we, we didn't get it. <laughs> we, <coughs> For <coughs> would you prefer to see the opposition win tomorrow rather than see Edi Menangagwa return to power? You say, would you prefer? The Which opposition to the opposition win tomorrow than see Edi Manangagwa returned to power. He's right. saying, would you prefer the opposition or Ed to win tomorrow? Uh, what are you saying? Would <laughs> 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 you prefer MDC or or Ed? Is it, is it? Yes. Yes, sir. Or, or ZANU-PF? Yes. Huh? I said I, uh, ZANU-PF. I can't vote for ZANU-PF. They... Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I didn't answer that properly. Sorry, sorry. He, he says he, wa he wants to answer that properly. He still has something to if, say. If I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't vote, I, I said I can't vote for the party or those in power who are my, <laughs> just now, who are the people that, and that have brought me into this state. I can't I can't vote for them. It's it's <laughs> not I think I can't. I so think so, so it's uh, it's uh, the MDC Maim Juru Coupe and twenty two others. I will make my <laughs> change. <laughs> I have said the, the the two women don't seem to offer very much. So what what is there? I think it's just Chamisa. <laughs> <laughs> I will have a uh, privilege from GW. Uh, Your Excellency, how does it feel to go so into the tomorrow for the first time as a voter? With your name not on the ballot. You say you didn't hear. I said I can't vote for those who have caused me to be in this condition. I have also said my Juru and my coupe don't offer very much. <laughs> so there is Chamisa left. <laughs> the, the guy from DW Red asked you a question that how do you feel to go and vote on a ballot paper that does not for the first time we have your name on. <laughs> well, that's the reality. <laughs> what, it's painful, but that's the reality. I have uh, Machaz from um, the Independent and um, Standard and, in, and, and uh, News Day. Uh, so there are three papers in one. Uh, Mr. Uh, President, the last time in 2008, 
There is a belief that you were ready to concede that you had lost elections, but the army came and propped you up. What's the difference between what happened then and today? Ah, uh, no. The army didn't come to prop me up. 2008, we lost the election, but Sangirai did not get enough votes for him to be, according to the Constitution, for him to be recognized. He had to get 50 plus, 50 percent plus. Violet Gunda? And, and, and uh, that's, that's why we had a, a government of national unity, isn't it? I'll take a, um, Violet Gonda, she's a freelance journalist. Mr. Mugabe, I'm one of those journalists who were banned almost 20 years ago by your government. And so I wanted to find out, like thousands of other, or millions of other Zimbabweans who were put in a situation by you, that why should they trust you now? What is what what has changed? Because this military that you're talking about has propped you up for the last uh, 38 years. And uh, if you want Zimbabweans to really trust you now and support you, why don't you at least even talk about how the rigging has happened all these years? Because the opposition has in many for many years. Sorry, I'm a bit... Is it a question or a sermon? Yes, because the opposition has... Please, I'm taking questions. ...that Zazanopia has got degrees in rigging. So is it not time to actually come out and say how the elections have been rigged? And lastly, is Zek captured as the, as the opposition has said in, uh, in, in these elections? I don't... You didn't... Please, can, can you give us questions? <laughs> is, is one question, one question. Commission She's saying, is the Zimbabwe Election Commission captured? Is, is the... Uh, repeat. She's saying, is uh, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission captured? I don't know by who. I don't know. Can you... Wh what do you mean? Nelson Chamisa is actually saying that the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, chaired by Priscilla Chikunda, is captured and that it's not an independent referee. So, have you been following this issue? And if so, what are your thoughts on this? Oh, I see. <clears throat> no, yes, I've just read that in the, in the newspaper. But I thought these were political uh, views being expressed by by people who wanted to see things to be <laughs> to be proper i i don't think the and uh, the electoral commission could be captured by anyone no i don't can we I don't believe it. I I believe it. no. It acts quite freely. Can can we have our question short and to the point? Kumbira uh, Mafunda. Mm -hmm. uh, the abduction of Peter Zama disappeared on 9 March 2015 during your tenure as leader of Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it worry you, Mr. President? I see. He's saying the abduction of. Um, the tides Amara during your tenure as president doesn't it worry you? The abduction of Itai Zamara. <coughs> uh, Itai, oh, I see that that character. To tell you the truth, I I also been worried, and I just don't know. I didn't know who he was, and uh, and yes, it worries me. And if we can uh, uh, get information that will lead us to some, uh, you know, uh, factual position as to what happened, who, 
who did, who took him away, and where did they take him away? But we we have tried to find out. I don't know whether uh, those who did it are the people we <laughs> were using to find out where what happened to him. But if if there is information about him from any source who do we say come to give it to the authorities mm -hmm. but I, I I I I have wondered why in respect of him nothing nothing seems to, to you know, to come our way. There should be some people, definitely some people who saw him being taken away. But it's sad. Why why take him away? What what harm did he do? I I didn't see the harm that he had done. Mm -hmm. Okay, Christina Lambert, an interesting account on how ED left this country. I think yeah. she's here. <laughs> I was going to ask you, in fact, about ED. You, you said that the people who removed you in November were people you'd worked with for many years. What's your view of ED from that background? What is that? She said, What you have worked with ED? For a very long time, what's what's your view on him? Well, he is a good worker. A very, very, very good worker, but it's not always that uh, he told me the truth. So in 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 some cases, uh, I did not believe what 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 he told me. What. really gave me a judgment about him was when in 1980 after the people's vote the first vote by the people and before the results were announced he and the miss mr stannard the white 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 cid he was working with in CIO, came to me and say, ah, you are under threat. You, Nyagumbo and Kala, please leave the country. Go to Muslim. Ah, and the three of us left. 
and the three of us were known to be the militants, you see. And Samora said, why have you come? We told him that we were told that we were under threat. We had to leave. Samora said, ah, come on, get back. Uh, we couldn't go back straight on. We said, please help us to go to Tanzania to inform Madimu to listen to on what has happened and uh, the prospects we have of victory. So we went to Mwalimo and we told him we would get about 57, 58%. Or we would get 57, 58 of the 80. Uh, I think. It, or 80%, the Africans were given 80% then of the vote. <coughs> and then, as we said, we, we are coming back to them uh, because Samora wouldn't have us. He said, please don't come back, don't, I repeat, don't, don't, don't. Uh, we said, no, let's go back home. We came back, they received us, nothing happened. And nothing happened. I, I say to him, but why? It was in your interest uh, for security reasons. We felt you 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 would be more secure. Ah, was that the actual reason? To this day, I've been asking my question. And Nyagumbo uh, and Gala were angry. Why? What, what did they want to do? Which would not be possible with us the three. Then I uh, said, uh, Chaminuka, the the prophet Mfemberi. What could have happened to him? Why, why is there no, but no uh, evidence at all of how, what, how he was treated by the Ndebeles who took him? I wonder what happened. Then he said, ah, oh, yes, I know. You, I know you are worried by that. I have a person who actually knows what happened. I said, to, ah, I want to see that person. I want to hear. We want a story to be known. 
Then he said, you come. And I went to him to his home. And there was a lady. He said, this is my, my nini. A sister of his, his mother. She is with that power, a spirit that can tell you. Ah, can she? she? Then he said yes. She is just now waiting for you. I told her you were coming. Go up. She was living up some some shackle, ram shackle thing. So I went up. She said, "Oh, he said no. You removed your shoes. I removed my shoes. I went up." And uh, she started telling me about how s strong she 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 was. She had the spirit of Mbuyanehanda, and uh, she is the one uh, who did away with uh, Tongo Gara. Uh, but nothing about Chaminuka. <laughs> nothing at all. Uh, she just wanted, he wanted me. To see that he has this mining of his. as a spirit, a spirit medium who oh, oh, was powerful. Okay, guys. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. <coughs> but when I, I, I got down, I said, what, what nonsense is this? Gee. You invite me to be told what happened to Chaminuka. And uh, all she, she wanted was to see me and, uh, you know. And uh, and try to convince me that she is a spirit medium we should accept. Hmm? And when Kala and Kala also knew about this and he wanted Kala to, to pay a kind of, uh, uh, well, not salary, but an amount to sustain her annual, uh, monthly. And Carla said, nonsense. You get away. <laughs> and that's why there was a rift, you know, between Carla and him. There was and, and that... Uh, it's not animosity, but uh, the two did not all good, were not good friends. So uh, that was a lie. You see, then uh, we had. Some Indians d 
doing our business and the M and S party party business. Goromonzi Farm and some uh, companies. The, the party. He was working with them. We wanted to uh, to know. What their efforts had yielded in monetary terms were not getting anything. And Juru said, No, you must investigate. This, this man is a crook. So when we started our investigations, well, we discovered that he had got some money from them without uh, it having come from the party. I asked him why. He, say, he said to me, ah, he had just got the money, he borrowed it. He wanted to pay some school fees uh, for his kids. But the money was never paid back. So uh, I, I, I got to know that my my man was not my was was not quite honest, and he, he had indicated to me that uh, mm -mm. it's not always that he tells me the truth. But I worked with him. We did some good things with him. I also did not know that as uh, uh, he worked with me, he was eyeing my position until quite late. Well, there it was. I was a fool uh, to have him next to me uh, because then he connived with uh, Chuenga to ask me, and they were they thought the be now the best way of getting rid of him is to undertake good data. I will take the last question uh, because I can see you guys you are, you are uh, eager to go and file. That lady in dark glasses, that's the last question. Um, my name is Bola Mosu and with the BBC as many people from the president would be interested in knowing, given that you said you cannot vote for Zambia and will not vote for MC Mandela, and doing this on the eve of the election when it's actually legal to campaign uh, according to Z uh, guidelines, is this your way of hoping that millions who are still loyal to you will do the same thing and follow your lead so that you sabotage any hope of victory? Because welcome, you are watching SA Today. That was the press briefing that a former president of Zimbabwe, Rob Mugabe, is currently addressing the media, uh, touching on issues that he hopes for the best for tomorrow's election. Also currently saying that Zim is undemocratic. We will have to wait and see. Uh, some scathing comments coming in from Mugabe this afternoon. We thank you very much for joining us on SA Today. Bye-bye.